You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some fried balls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? This is Brian LaFleur Jr. here, and today I'm bringing you guys with another new episode of the NASCAR Diecast News, hosted by me, Original Big Bri. As always, guys, I'm bringing you guys your weekly NASCAR Diecast News throughout each and every month until the very end of the 2016 NASCAR Diecast season. Yeah, guys, the Dallas 16 uh, season is starting to actually pass halfway point, so guys, but we still got a lot of cool new stuff to show you guys and all the newest diecasts news that you might have missed uh, for that's actually came for this week and of course that has to come with uh, some of the new diecasts that were released uh, on on last Tuesday for on this week I'm recovering from the NASCAR diecast news um, lots of cool new diecasts I'll show you from our good friends at Plan B Sales, KC diecast and Lesher's diecast uh, a couple more new Darlington to throwback um, pre-orders pre and we'll be going and, and the uh, we'll be going over, I believe, a good uh, a good amount of them very soon. And, of course, we also got to stand with the cancellations as well. More cancel diecasts were announced from our good friends at Lino Racing. Got to love that for sure. And we also got some more NASCAR Authentics news for any of you Lino Racing NASCAR uh, Authentics fans out there. Wave 7 has finally been revealed to the public and we got lots of details to show you guys uh, we'll get all to that and very more as this new episode of the nascar nascar dicast news starts right now but before we do that guys we're gonna take a look back at last week's episode of the nascar dicast news with its best selling diecast rounding out with nascar dicast news 150 Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen on the wonderful world of YouTube, NASCAR Diecast Selectors, and you know who you are. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the NASCAR Diecast News. I hope you guys are going to sit back and enjoy the show, and let's get started, because this is a show where we talk about NASCAR Diecast and what you guys have missed for this past week. And, of course, we're going to start off with the newly released Diecast, which are always, always, I think, my favorite part of this section of the diecast news because you know there's always that good sets of emergency when we got new diecasts coming in and of course we gotta thank our good uh, sponsors and pals from Lamey Sales, Casey Diecast, and Lester's Diecast and uh, we're gonna be going over the 164s so any of the 124s that we showcase from the little uh, preview um, we won't be going over that just to save a little bit on time so starting off with the 164s we got ourselves uh, the Danica Patrick uh, Nature's Bakery car now I bet you're wondering did they already release this car? Well, let's just say that the Nature's Bakery car that um, I think actually Stuart Haas and Nature's Bakery decided to come up with a more updated paint scheme. Although, I mean, I mean the only difference I can see on this car, they did remove some, some logos, I think, on the paint scheme because, uh, I mean, I'm quickly looking at my NASCAR Authentics version of this car and there's like some sort of textured logos on this car where the blue is. I think that is removed, so it's just a... Uh, clean blue and then uh of course that did give away why this is a version two of this car is uh it has the same logo as it does on the front now instead of just having a blue with white letters now it has the same logo as the hood now so that's pretty cool right there and i think it does look a little uh, it does it does look a little more uh decent on that but i don't know if i would waste i don't know if you guys should waste your money on this but if you're want a more decent looking Danica Patrick car than her nature's baby car I guess this would be 
a good thing, but I don't know, guys. I mean, kind of a kind of a waste for this car. Sorry to say that for any Danica Patrick fans out there. But we got some more Dante throwback cars to show you guys. Uh, man, we're going to be talking a lot about Dante throwbacks throughout these next few episodes of NASCAR IKS News. We got our third release now for the 164s of this year for um, this car right here, the Denny Hamlin Dante throwback sports clips car. And man, oh man, what is this right here? This is a nice looking tribute we got right here of a nice good classic NASCAR. I believe this was driven by, I think, David Pearson or Daryl Waltrip, one of those two. I mean, this is like late at night, so I'm trying to really think of who the who the tribute is dedicated to. But this car does look very familiar for any guys out there who know their NASCAR history. So I guess this is pretty cool right here. I mean, I also like it. it also has the blue the blue underside skirts on this car. I mean, a lot of people might think that looks kind of tacky, but it kind of gives that nice retro tribute look and. Boy, this car does look pretty nice. It, uh, I know the Danny Hamlin's driving yet another Sport Clips uh, retro Dante throwback car, but I think this car just looks a tad bit better than what he drove last year. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of which Danny Hamlin throwback looks better, this year's or last year's. And uh, this is going to be another diecast right here that's going to be really overhyped. This is another underfunded car. And the last time we ever got a Dr. Pepper 23 car for quite a while, guys. I remember the last time we had one was uh, 2014 was the Alex Bowman car. And I remember they um, did not made one last year. So if you guys mix, missed out on the Dr. Pepper car from 2014, then this is definitely a car to get right here for sure. Especially since there's going to be a good amount of David Reagan diecast coming out. Because we got this car, his Dante throwback car. And I believe that's it for now because some some of his other diecasts have been canceled, including ones that, were, that and another day ring car has been canceled. Uh, that I'll show later in this episode. But um, yeah, I probably recommend getting this car. I think it is going to be pretty rare someday. And you know, like I said, it's one of those underfunded cars. And boy, and not to be a little biased, if you like Dr Pepper or soda, maybe this is the car right here. Show your love for um, for being a uh, always one of a kind, Dr Pepper. <laughs> Oh god, that was like some sort of bad promotion right there. Um, anywho, um, yep, we got some more diecasts as well. We got, uh, this one's really cool right here. Uh, the Chase Elliott, one of Chase Elliott's newest sponsors, Sun Energy, man. And oh my god, this car looks amazing. I think this might have to be my favorite Chase Elliott scheme. I mean, I, the Napa scheme has really grown to me now. I didn't like it at first, but this Sun Energy car just... I love the vibrant colors on this car, man. It looks really nice. It's got all the nice uh, flares and neons to it. It kind of reminds me, ironically, it kind of reminds me of Denny Hamlin's old FedEx scheme that he had um, in the past couple years, like before he changed the scheme last year. That was the scheme he had in 2014. This is what it kind of reminds me of, and surprisingly, Sun Energy has sponsored um, some Joe Gibbs racing drivers, so it was kind of random to see that they are now going to Junior Motorsports and Hendrick Motorsports, because I also know they drove the 88 car in this car as well, which I think those cars were or were not canceled, but we'll find out very shortly um, in the next few releases to see if those other Sun Energy cars will be released or not, or if they were canceled, but who knows. But I also like how this car, um, I think this is the first center card that we are having with uh, colored rims. So usually the Penske's all the Penske cars always have the colored rims, but now it looks like this Henrik car has orange rims and it really goes well with the paint scheme, guys. And I like that orange splitter as well. Just overall, very solid car, guys. Really, really nice, very vibrant and bright. and. I probably would not miss out on getting this car right here. It looks really nice, especially if you're a big Chase Elliott fan. Matt Diurkel, I'm talking to you. You better get this car. You're missing out if you don't, man. <laughs> uh, the next car we got showing right here is another Dawn's Throwback car. So this will be uh, number four right here. Dawn's Throwback car is released. And it is none other than the good old... Uh, Eric Amarillo representing the king of Richard Petty in the STP tribute car. This car does look a little different than uh, what was last year's, so um, he's representing another different res uh, representation of Richard Petty's STP car. So, I mean, uh, I, I, I could say, I mean, the sides do look kind of similar, but on the top, we have stripes on this car now, unlike last year's, which is mostly all blue. So, uh, this scheme does look pretty awesome, and plus, it's also got... What do you know, guys? It's got colored rims as well, so unlike last year's car, which didn't have colored rims, I think this might be the STP car that you should get right here, especially if you're a big Richard Petty fan. After all, guys, after all, it does look pretty dang nice, and hopefully, maybe, it would be cool to see the 43 back in victory lane, but hasn't been like that since 2014 at Daytona, guys. 
All right, and speaking of our 40 numbers, we also got Jimmy Johnson's uh, another new car in stock, his Lowe's Power Pride, or NASCAR Salutes car, whatever you want to call it. I have to say this car looks pretty nice, you know. I, I would love to have the yellow numbers on this car, but you know what? I'm digging those red numbers, and I'm kind of digging this paint scheme. I I mean, I can't, I, I, I don't really know if this is the same car from last year's, but regardless or not, this thing looks really nice, especially on the EL mold, and you got, uh, even it's even got, um, instead of Jimmy Johnson's name on the windshield, it's got the army, it's got uh, whoever he was supporting uh, during the Charlotte race, or the all-star racing mold that he had in this car, and so that's really cool right there so a very accurate car you know down right to the correct windshield and the correct tires this car does look pretty dang nice uh for any 88 fans out there so we got some more junior cars in stock to show your dedication and love to good old dale Arnold jr hopefully we're hearing rumors that he might be back at michigan this uh for the next week hoping if not then Hopefully uh, for more speedy recovery for a good old Dale Earnhardt Jr. But we got another Exalted car in stock right here. His Exalted car, star car. You know, I mean, I'm not really a big fan. I, I do like the Exalted cars, but uh, I'm not a big fan of Exalted when they release, uh, you know, the same paint scheme just with different sponsors. So this car... It, it was it, this car kind of represents you know kind of the random exalted cars that we had from last year but those were kind of exception because it was jeff gordon's last year but uh i mean there's not really much of a difference on this car besides car star that is promoted on the sides of this car instead of exalta but i guess if you if you would like some variety on these is also scheme which who knows but I don't know, kind of a bizarre car to have, but if you're a junior fan, probably I would still recommend getting it if you're, I don't know, if you're tired of seeing Exult's sponsorship on the car, which is odd, <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys. And to wrap it up on the 164 cars, we got another Dale, Dale Earnhardt Jr. car, another NASCAR Salutes car, the Nationwide On Your Side Insurance uh, Stars and Stripes car, and... I have to say, you know, I'm really digging the nationwide schemes that we've had for this year. I mean, last year's um, black nationwide card that he won in Daytona with the Stars and Stripes that looks pretty nice, but I am digging this uh, this nice Americanized car. I mean, I do love the classic red, white, and blue on this car, and I think that this car right here really kind of showcases, you know, what... I mean, heck, let's face it, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is like the base of NASCAR, so he's got to have a really good Americanized scheme, and I think this is a good representation right here, and it was cool seeing this seeing this car ran at Daytona, at the uh, night race at Daytona, so unfortunately didn't want, but um, especially for good old Amelia, good old Amelia, <laughs> but um, really cool car, I think I would recommend getting this car, and like I said, it's very accurate with the name shield, um, with the army sergeant on the name shield and then the accurate tire so fairly a good decent pickup to uh, to go with the jimmy johnson the low slits cars so and now we're getting on to the pre-orders guys i know there's not really much on pre-orders usually we have a good amount but i guess i'll be talking a good majority of them because most of these pre-orders that we have are darn to throwback cars so more darn to throwback cars are being showcased and are now placed on pre-order in both scales and man oh man where do i start i guess we'll start with jane mcmurray uh john's a throwback car and if you guys notice this right away if any of you guys who are watching nascar in the late 90s the, you guys will automatically recognize what this car is so let's just say uh jane mcmurray and good old ganassi racing have good old chip ganassi racing have brought back the mcknight the mac tonight car and if you guys aren't really fully aware of what that car is, it is basically a car that Bill Elliott used to drove back then. I think he drove it around uh, five times in 1997. And it was just a very iconic paint scheme that he drove, of course, you know, for Bill Elliott, which is, uh, he's a 1988 NASCAR Spring Cup Series champion, also a Brickyard um, 400 champion as well. So, you know, really cool to see that uh, we're getting a, a good variety of decades of, of darn to throwback schemes and i mean i thought nascar was only gonna do like one decade for all the schemes but that'd be kind of hard and i'm kind of glad to see that this car i mean i had a feeling you know when we had um, a mcdonald's darn to throwback i'm like i wonder what that be and one other showcase to, than a good old bill elliott car so really looking forward to getting this car right here especially if any guys who are big bill elliott fans maybe this is definitely a car i would highly highly recommend picking up you may not be a big jeremy murray fan but it's really cool seeing this car in gen 6 really really does look awesome and speaking of more awesome looking darn throwback cars this one right here i think is going to be a fan favorite i 
know he's already favoring NASCAR with Toyota and Joe Gibbs Racing. Let's just say Matt Kenseth is now incorporating a Johnson throwback scheme, and let's just say the Tide Colors have made a return. I know last year, Josh Wise in the 32 car, he did actually got a throwback for the Ricky Craven car that was in 2003, which he won at, but they did not have the Tide sponsorship. But for this time, they actually have not only the cool, the paint scheme that we all are familiar, that we are all familiar with, the orange, yellow, and white of the Tide Pods car. <laughs> well, they're actually incorporating Tide Pods now, so that's going to be pretty cool. But guys, I think this might be Matt Kenseth, the start of a good new sponsorship for Matt Kenseth. Because if you guys are aware, Dollar General will be leaving him next year. And hoping, I mean, I hope this that, that this car, I mean, yes, it is a Johnson throwback car and it's going to be raced one time. But hopefully we can see the Tide Colors again. Maybe really soon, maybe at the end of the, at the at the start of next year. I mean, I'm pretty excited about this new sponsorship that he has with Tide. I mean, I know he has slightly promoted Tide on when he was on the Dollar General scheme. It was like a little secondary sponsor, but really cool to see that Tide stepped up their game and present, you know, the iconic Tide card that we're all familiar with, with Ricky Craven, Daryl Walter, and, and so much more. Uh, Ricky Rudd, I mean, I'm just naming out lots of drivers that drove the Tide car. So really cool to see Matt Kenseth. It's going to be added to this list. And who knows, guys, if this car, this car will be really nice to see in victory lane. And hopefully we can see that car very soon. I mean, hell, I'm really excited that we're seeing, that we're finally seeing all Joe Gibbs racing cars are having a darn to throwback scheme, unlike last year, which that was kind of a fail. <laughs> and uh, to wrap it up on the pre-orders, we got uh, Ryan Blaney, uh, David Pearson tribute car. Um, so you guys know the 21 is another very iconic number in NASCAR next to the 43 and the 3. So it was really cool to see that um, both Ryan Blaney and um, the Wood Brothers Racing Team got back on the track with their throwbacks. And they are doing a tribute throwback to the good old David Pearson guys, which I think this car, I think it was somewhere in the late 70s. I want to say like 75 or 76, I think. Probably 76, I believe. But man, this car looks really nice, especially for any Ford fans out there. This is definitely a car to get right here. And what can I say? The all these pre-orders, and I'm really looking forward to see all these Johnson throwbacks that we're gonna see very soon. And can't say I'm gonna be really excited for you know what's gonna come at the Sub the 500 for this year. But every time we're getting all these new pre-orders, guys, it's just really exciting. And hoping to God that we none of these are gonna be canceled, unlike these diecasts about show you right here. So now we're gonna get on to the cancellations, guys. And this is the part right here that might get a lot of people interrogated and very frustrated but I'll say this right here there are no daunted throwbacks that are canceled in this cancellation of this cancellation wave of the NASCAR Cast News so we're gonna start off with uh, I talked about this car I think uh, but when we were talking about the David Reagan car I, I kind of gave you guys a little hint but yep guys we have yet another David Reagan car we have another uh, BK Racing car canceled the David Reagan uh, Shriners Hospital uh, Shriners Hospital uh, children's Hospital car. Jesus, I couldn't really pronounce that right there. <laughs> Getting my words mixed up. But yep, the Shriners Children's Hospital car has been canceled. Um, similar to the Matt DiBenedetto car, uh, the Annette Iwata car from the last episode of NASCAR IKS News. So we're seeing another BK racing car getting canceled. What can I say? What can I say about this car? You know, I mean, good cause to support this scheme and, you know, the sponsor that it has. I'm always really excited to see NASCAR, you know, stepping up on children's hospitals and, you know, what they do. But sad to see that this car didn't make it. And I don't know. I mean, uh, just, I pr it probably was a very underrated car. Now, this car right here I'm about to show you next has to be the most shocking one for cancellations for this year. I never thought in a million times I would ever see a Jimmy Johnson car getting canceled. Especially his Jimmy Johnson Foundation car, which a lot of people were so happy about because first of all, it's got yellow numbers on it, which a lot of people were really excited because it gave us that vibe of Jimmy Johnson. I mean, and you know, back then, you know, especially when Jimmy Johnson was so dominant in NASCAR winning six championships, he was mostly familiar in the 48 yellow 48. So they brought that back with the Jimmy Johnson Foundation car, and this scheme looks so nice. I mean, I just don't see why this car got canceled, especially in both scales. I, I, I'm really tongue-tied right now, guys. I mean, usually I want to support Jimmy Johnson diecast, but I'm pretty bombarded seeing this car getting canceled, guys. This is probably one of the most nice-looking Jimmy Johnson cars I've seen in 
ages in the Gen 6 car. I'm probably just over exaggerating because I'm I just love that they brought back the, the yellow 48 car, but man, just what a bummer to see this car getting canceled. I mean, I guess they're still I I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I guess I'll have to move on because I I really don't know how to comprehend how this car got canceled. Tell me what you guys think in the comments of why you think this car got canceled because I'm really tongue tied on this right here. Just wow. That, that's our first for the NASCAR Diecast News right there. And to wrap it up on the cancellations, guys, we got um, Alex Bowman's and Cole Custer's Jack Leak's Beef Jerky car. So Lionel did offer uh, two versions of this car. They had an Alex Bowman and a Cole Custer. And both of those cars got canceled. And I probably see that why, you know, a good majority of the Alex Bowman diecast and the same with Cole Custer diecast for the NASCAR Xfinity Series have been canceled. So it was kind of an obvious choice seeing how this car got canceled. I mean, not really a recognizable car. Sure, it has number 88 on it, but when you got, um, you know, guys like Cole Custer and then Alex Bowman, you don't really sell too much in diecast. I can see why that car got canceled. But, uh, Pretty still unfortunate for any missed opportunities for those guys to gain any diecast, especially for Cole Custer. I mean, at least we're getting uh, one Alex Bowman car produced, which is the Advanced AutoZone car. So, the Advanced Auto Parts car. I keep saying AutoZone, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's a bummer right there and so forth. All right, guys, and we're getting on to our final topic of the show, and it is going to be some more NASCAR Authentics news, guys. I mean, on last episode of NASCAR Diecast News, I talked about um, some NASCAR Authentics news regarding uh, the Jonathan Throwbacks uh, wave, so that is actually not going to be the next wave, guys. That's just a special wave, kind of like what we had with the Batman vs. Superman cars. That was a special wave. So, speaking of that, guys, we got wave number seven released, guys. Uh, wave number seven was revealed on this on actually, you know, by the time I upload this video, which will be Sunday or Monday, it'll be uh, last Friday. Uh, Wave 7 was announced on social media by Lionel Racing on their Instagram and Facebook page, and they released uh, the upcoming photos of what's to come for Wave 7, and good amount of diecast as I'm about, I'm about to show you guys the picture right here of what's in store for Wave 7, and we got a good amount of drivers and a good amount of diecast to show you guys, so man, oh man, where do I start? So I guess we'll go down the list right here. We got, uh, our first bracket is Oski car for this year, which is the Alliance Truck Parts car. Um, I could probably see why they, they got this car in this way because they cannot. I, I probably would rather have this car than just a, a generic Brad K car like we did with like a generic Brad Keselowski car like we had with uh, the previous NASCAR Authentics car, which was um, back in uh, in last year's in, in last year when Spin Master took over that plain white uh, Brad Keselowski car that we had which still looked pretty nice but I, I rather would like have an accurate version like we did right here especially since it has the right colored rims on like Spin Master. <sighs> they got those dark days over though Spin Master. Uh, Lionel's been doing a good job with NASCAR Authentics but really cool car and I you know I, I do I, I I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to see a Miller Lite car produced, but like I said, guys, this is a retail line, and they're going to be sold at Target and Toys R Us and Walmart, which are all kid-friendly stores, so, you know, probably wouldn't be the great idea to have an alcohol-based car, and I could probably see why this Brad K um, Alliance, Tri Alliance Truck Parts car is going to be in this wave, so that's pretty cool right there. It's going to go well with the Joey Logano uh, Daytona 500 win car that we had for this year um, and wave in wave two so moving on down the line we got another mobile one car coming in here uh joining the list uh with uh tony stewart's uh this is actually our third mobile one car being produced for uh lionel so really cool right here but this is a kevin harvick mobile one car so if you guys are really big fans of the mobile one cars like we had uh, with tony stewart's with tony stewart uh, we had uh let's see the and wave two and then we also had a the, you know this year's car from wave four of the tail 16 lineup for nascar authentics so like i said third time we're seeing a mobile one car but this will look really nice with uh, showcasing all those mobile one cars and you know it's another kevin harvick car which a put which uh with a sponsorship uh with alcohol so probably that's another good option right there i mean there's a lot of good options you know you don't have to have a bush car you know uh, kevin harvick's got outback and jimmy johns but really cool to see that um where we already had a Jimmy John's car released as well, which was the Wave 6. So, 
definitely a big step up from the Jimmy John's card that we had from the last wave. And heck, I think this would be a card to get right here. Uh, your two-time Brickyard 400 winner, Kyle Busch, driving the Skittles car. This is going to be a very nice, bright car to get right here. So if you guys ever missed out on the Skittles car, then this would be another candy-inspired car to get. Definitely will look, will definitely, definitely look nice with uh, the previous wave car that we had, which was Kyle Busch's uh, M&M's car, which he never ran at. But lucky for this car, he has run it and he's won it twice at the Brickyard 400. So um, would have been cool if this, if the Skittles car was actually a Brickyard 400 race version. That would have been really cool. But still, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty nice. I mean, I do like that Skittles car. Um, this one right here, I think, is gonna be a hot seller. The Ryan Blaney Motorcraft 21 car. Definitely, definitely would highly recommend getting this car because this car, I think, is gonna be rare. It, it was rare when we had it for NASCAR Authentics with Spin Master, and I bet you or not, it's gonna be hitting the shelves real fast and it's gonna be selling out like crazy because. This is an underfunded car, and you know with uh, exclusive cars or underfunded cars, they're going to sell fast. So, bottom line, guys, this Ryan Blaney car, what can I say about it? It's going to sell. I mean, it's going to sell definitely because this is a car that you would not really think would be in a wave like all these big names like, you know, Kevin Harvick and Dale Jr. and Kyle Busch, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, all those guys. So, really cool to see we're getting another 21 car. Um for NASCAR Authentics, but we're getting a Lionel version, which is even much more better than what uh, Nat, than what Spin Master had. Uh, some more Chase Elliott car. We have another Chase Elliott car. This is the third Chase Elliott car that we're getting for this year. So joining along with his Napa and his KBB car, the 3M car, showing up at the door. Another cool looking race car, especially if you're a big Chase Elliott fan and cannot afford to get it online, then this will be definitely highly recommended car to get right here. And then after that, guys, I mean, what can I say? The next car, you'll probably have to get it, especially if you can't get any of your diecast online or if you don't have any local diecast dealers, then I would highly pick up this March Rex Junior Bass Pro Shops car because this is going to be another hot seller, guys. I mean, it's already been a big hit on YouTube with the diecast reviews, and a lot of people were going, you know, crazy about this car, and really cool to see that NASCAR Authentics uh, decided to put this in retail line because they know it will sell, especially with all the new all the well with all the hype with March Rex Jr. and Bass Pro Shop so really cool to see that they're gonna be making that and you know we can't have a wave without Dale Earnhardt Jr. so why not wrap it off with another iconic Dale Jr. scheme for this year the Exalta car or if you want to be a little more creative Jeff Gordon slash Dale Jr. because Jeff Gordon did drove this car at Walkers Glen but Still, I'm gonna to, to show support um, and respect to Dale. I'm gonna say that you should get this car for Dale Earnhardt Jr. and not Jeff Gordon. Okay, so definitely would recommend getting most of these diecasts right here. I, I mean, I don't really think there's not. I, I mean, I, I probably would recommend this wave over the last wave that we had. Last waves was a kind of another. I mean, the last wave wasn't too bad, but nothing could be bad as wave five. So. But I don't know, I think this wave is just a little more better. I think I, I would love to see for Wave 8 some exclusive diecast. I've been dying for exclusive diecast and maybe the Ryan Blaney car, maybe, and the Truex car, but I already have that car. But I'm hoping Lionel can hear us out right here. If we want to get any exclusive diecast made, like many, make more exclusive race wins or, you know, make a diecast that, 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 that was canceled and they can make it in the retail line. I want to see that line now. I mean, you're doing a really good job with all these 2016 diecasts, but just fingers crossed for Wave 8 that we're going to get an exclusive car that's going to really make us really want to go after the NASCAR Authentics. So, but good job for NASCAR Authentics. I did. I think they did a really good job, and we should be getting seeing these cars very soon, including the Johnson Throwback Wave, which I believe will have. I mean, I think that's going to be the next thing to be revealed before Wave 8 comes out. So we'll stay all up to date on NASCAR Authentics here on the NASCAR Diecast News and many more Diecast News to come. But that is about it for the NASCAR Diecast News, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please give this video a good comment like. If you guys have not already, subscribed to my channel, Original Big Bry. And I make YouTube videos uh, for one, for like for every single week, probably every single Sunday. I'm gonna do like a schedule for every Sunday. We'll be a new episode of the NASCAR Diecast News. So that way you guys will tune into that. So um, feel free to tune in on next Sunday for another new episode of NASCAR Diecast News and so forth, guys. So this is Richard McBride signing off, and so long for now, everybody.